Every day, we human generate waste as the world move ahead. The amount of municipal solid waste is surpassing the rate of the organization. Today, it is estimated that about 3 billion urban residences generate 1.2 kg of waste per person per day, making it 3 billion tons per year. Government is spending substantial amount just to sustain treatment and management of municipal waste. In the recent report of UN Habitat, managing solid waste well and affordably is one of the key challenges of the 21st century and one of the key responsibilities of a city government. Despite joint effort in the last decades, majority of municipalities in developing countries failed to manage the growing volume of waste produced in their cities. In the Philippines, one of the major impacts of unmanaged waste is the devastation of major waterways in the country. Rivers are now the biggest dump site of thousands of informal settlers living in the riverbanks. Pampanga River is one of the three rivers in Luzon with poor water quality. Water pollution in Pampanga River results from human activities associated with populations concentrated along the river. It is evident that the overall quality of the water is poor and much below the accepted standards. In 2010, the Environment and Natural Resources Office reported that about 278 tons of waste materials are being rampantly dumped into the province's waterways. This had caused a massive flooding in the nearby communities of Candaba, San Luis, San Simon, and other coastal areas. The river is heavily silted due to mud formation and the garbage settled under the river. Municipalities adjacent to the river are spearheaded various cleanup tribes along to the stretch of Pampanga River. But in spite of different campaigns and programs for proper waste disposal by different government and non-government organizations, the irresponsible dumping of garbage in the river is still evident. The general objective of this study is to develop a sustainable solid waste management model in Pampanga Riverside communities. It has a specific objectives which aim to determine the following. First is the perceptions of SWM issues. Second, attitudes towards implementing proper practices. Third, the level of awareness about solid waste management concepts, issues, and technologies. And lastly, the types of wastewater handling practices currently used. The analysis will then determine the kind of communication strategies suited for community-based media and response scheme for solid waste management. Since knowledge, attitude, and practices study was accomplished in the perspective of solid waste management campaign or strategies were drawn in connection to development communication theories and approaches. This study is designed to provide a basis for recommending targeted awareness programs and activities at the local, national, and regional levels. This could also be a development terms of reference for a comprehensive communication strategy on solid waste management. Human development is the key to sustainable development, and human development is a continuous process of improving people's knowledge, attitude, and practices through education, training, and communication campaign in order to increase their productivity and income while protecting the environment. This research theoretical foundation will draw from these grounds. Concepts will be derived from the theories and models on behavior change. 
that view individuals as active information processors in relation to others and social environment around him. This is one of the audience perspective as presented by Pernia, challenging the view on audience passivity and powerful media effects and arguing that differences in people's personality structures as well as social and cultural factors would actually determine communication effects. Supporting these assumptions is the view that in making decision to adapt a new behavior, the individual in a developing country will consider more deeply the interests and views of his family, peers, community alongside his own preference than his counterpart in a developed country. Behavior change theories are classified into stage step theories, cognitive theories, social process theories, emotional response theories, and mass media theories. This study will use and determine the applicability and SWM of the theory of reason action or TRA under cognitive theories and proposed by Martin Fishman and Isaac Astrid. TRA provides a framework in assessing the influence of attitudes in predisposing persons to certain behaviors in order for a communication specialist or development worker to develop appropriate interventions. It is speci specifies that the most immediate determinant of a person's behavior is his behavioral intention and thus to influence behavior would be accomplished through influencing a person's intention. Conceptual Framework Concepts of communication as a social process are based on the convergence model, which specifies five individual steps in the process perception, interpretation, understanding, agreement, and action with three social outcomes, mutual understanding, mutual agreement, and collective action. This takes the view that reception, evaluation, and use of media messages are as important as their means of production and transmissions. The independent variables will consist of the respondents' age, gender, education, and income, which have been shown in the past studies to affect the knowledge as well as practice of solid waste management. The dependent variables, on the other hand, will include the respondents' knowledge, attitudes, and practices on solid waste management. These variables in turn will determine, to a large extent, the kind of planning communication campaign or program that will be produced for ecological solid waste management. All of these situates tap within the context of larger developmental goal of environment management. In order to fulfill objectives, the following hypotheses have been formulated. Literacy among Riverside community is related with the knowledge about solid waste management. Second, attitude of Riverside community towards solid waste management is likely to be related with educational background. Third, existing programs on solid waste management is related to practice of waste management. The study will be conducted in Barangay Balukok, Apalit, Pampanga with 9,283 residents by the end of 2007. It is one of the barangays which are in the outlying area of municipality of Apalit. Barangay Balukok has the largest land area among the 12 barangays of Apalit with 1,106 hectares. In this study, the survey research design will be used, which is the most suitable design to extract the CAP variables. Of the total household population of 9,283, a sample of 100 will be taken using stratified random sampling. The respondent's household will be selected based on the sampling design regardless of the circumstances of the household. Only one respondent per household will be involved in the study. Research 
instrument will consist of questionnaire. Interviews will be conducted in each porok or pace. Primary and secondary data from the municipality will be gathered from triangulation of data. Data acquires will be analyzed using descriptive statistics. Correlational analysis will be done to person's product moment correlation to establish the relationship of the independent variables with the dependent variables using the statistical package from social sciences software, as well as to relate knowledge and attitudes to the practice of proper SWM. In one way, ANOVA will also be used to compare the means between groups to, the, to test the significance of the differences in the means. T-tests for independent means will be used as post hoc tests to obtain the most significant means difference among groups.